We are at Preston BMW this morning. A couple of nice bikes rolling in, let them get out of the way. We have the BMW R1250R. Our back, but let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the other side of the docks. So there's a crane over there, a big boot crane, we're going to go the other side of that down a little track. That should take us to the mills of the harbour. We're going to park up and have a look at this bike. Oh, that felt weird. The quick shifter, without the clutch. might not get used to downshifting with it, but upshift at 2000 felt really nice. Okay, so here's the bike. It is the BMW R1250R. New for 2023, they've thrown in a couple of extra little bits, including heated seats. So you can have this with a single seat cowl. I'll take away that section there. Where well, you got switchable heated seats. Idea being if you've got a pillion, you can have the pillions getting a nice warm bun if you don't fancy it at that point in time. It's a really nice unit of a bike. I will eventually get used to the cylinder head sticking so far out when I put my foot down it stops. But what a machine, it's looked beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. couple little bits for later on with the uh, attachment points for the 360 camera. I might see if we can get it stuck off the back so you get a nice little view over my shoulder while we're riding. But for now, we'll get it out for a little ride. are down, let's go.
Okay, so we just stopped off at the gas gate just to get a couple of bits of video, a couple of pictures. We'll get back on the bike, get it back to BMW in Preston. This bike is so easy to ride. I can see the attraction. I really can. Torque delivery is just so smooth. As I shift through the gears, everything is just really nice and balanced. Nice little view. Come over the top. Everywhere I go today, it seems to be temporary traffic lights, little bits of roadworks. As much as I appreciate the fact that there's a lot of work going into the highways. It's just that instant, instant torque. It's just there, as you want it, when you want it. That low down weight of this engine makes you feel like you can just lean it into every corner. Bags and bags of confidence. And lean, lean it right. It's there. It's playful. I've ridden a number of bikes, but I tell you what, this 1250 platform just having that weight down low, the way it's slung, the way it handles, I've very quickly got that confidence in low speed. You can have it in first, you can have it just ticking over, just travelling at a walking pace, as and when required. And you don't have to think about trying to adjust the steering or a wobble. A little bit of back roads on the way back to Preston. Pickup is beautiful. It's like effortless. It really is. Nice. Turn around this corner. Pop it down in second and let's take this one a bit better. Look at that. tighter than I wanted it to be, but look at this. It's the freedom to move it around on the road. Nothing's a hardship. So I was speaking to the manager at the dealership, he got this bike, took it out for its first ride just to bed in the tyres. He put it straight into dynamic mode. A little bit soft on the suspension, but it just gives you a good feel through the tyres, good feel through the chassis as well. I can feel what the bike wants to do on the road. Drop it down, blow with the road. really is a confidence inspiring bike for such a big bike it's so easy to handle it's not scary it's not a snarling monster it's just a grunty machine it wants to pick up we can go in third from the corner throw and just push and it's not like it's gonna drop out on you drop it to second, take this tighter one, follow it round. We're not exploring the levels of grip here, this is just a nice solid ride. Let's go Chorley Leyland, I think that's where I want to go, and I think I want to go this way. But it's a handsome bike, it's... I always like to think of bikes as being 
four lines of feminine. You see a beautiful bike or a pretty bike or she's gorgeous and she, this does feel quite masculine. It's butch. It's got bags of torque. It's got a presence on the road. For 2023 they shortened the wheelbase. Not by much, just a little. Just to bring out that handling capability. But it still feels like it's got presence. It's not taking away anything from the bike in doing so. You feel like you're seen by other road users. They know you're there. I've been on some bikes in the past and that has been an issue. You always want to be seen, you always want to be safe. And it just gives you that confidence on the road. You're not a wallflower. Let's drop it down into first. Nice slow speed. I'm just gonna walk past this car. A because I can and B I wanted to have that walking pace feel. It has that confidence. Mr. Van Man at Junction, or Fiesta, and everyone's stopping and waiting because I'm seen. There's just something about it, it's got a character. I said it, it's got a presence on the road. It's a really good feel. I was flicking through settings on the top of the screen, it gives me my total mileage and the trip. The interesting one here, 51.3. Yes, I am in that pot sort of bedded in the tires. It is due its first service at 800 miles around that marker. So we're still not pushing this thing as we would do if it was beyond that first service. We're still breaking it in, we're being gentle. Bit of a mix of roads, A roads and B roads, all the way throughout this journey. Past. I appreciate that, thank you very much. I'm not going to go silly. It's just a nice little balance, let's go. Keeping it in third, shoulder check. Nice and steady, bit of debris on the road again. Open it up, nice and steady. Everything's not a hardship for this bike either. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm using that bottom quarter of the speedo. This is a cracking big engine this. Steaming up a little bit so I just cracked my visor. I think it is actually really quite impressive and really a good point to note. I borrowed the bike for a few hours and in that few hours the amount of confidence that's inspired really is impressive. I, I think it's a... I couldn't just jump on any bike this quickly and be this confident in the feel of the road through the bike, being able to tell what's happening underneath the tyres. I think it's only the second time I've driven a, a shaft drive bike as well. And it is noticeable, you can feel the difference, the change the chain drive that you might feel a bit of up and go about it after the fact whereas this is like instant it is there I think there's a lot to be said for BMW as well the fact that they can take this engine this unit and they can put it into the straight roadster they can have this roadster then step it up and have the RS fully fared sportster style and they can take it on and do the GS, the GSA. Again, feeling that cylinder head with me shin every time I put my foot down. Quite enjoying it. Not hitting it as such, it's just a polite reminder. Yep, yep, it's there. You're in a great big boxer. that torque all the way through so smooth 
so, so smooth. There's an elegance about it. It is a handsome devil, this. Yes, I'm behaving myself on a bike. But it's not like I'm wanting to push it. It's not a... I'm not out for a ride where I'm going to push this thing to its limits. I think I kind of covered that fact, really. It's the fact that you feel like you don't need to. I don't feel like I need to push the boundaries. This isn't a super sport bike. It's... I'm here to enjoy it. I am actually enjoying it. The bike does have this really masculine grunty vibe to it. Brutish power if you will. I do have to say the heated seat has made this entire experience extremely comfortable. Just a nice little touch. Since that's an option for this year's model, I can strongly recommend it. I usually tend to feel the cold through my kidneys. Just on my back a little bit. I think this is just heat rising through my backside is uh, keeping myself toasty warm. I'll give it a little top up before I hand it back. Turn into the Docklands. All these new laws surrounding pedestrians, I just let everyone go nowadays. It doesn't matter. And look at that for timing. Back at the dealership, bang on time. And we are back.